Week of Easter 5, Tuesday, The Nightmare of a Fool, Part 1. Then I hated all my toil, wherein I labored under the sun, seeing that I must leave it to a man who will come after me. And who knows whether he will be a wise man or a fool? Ecclesiastes 2, verses 18 through 19a. Dearly Beloved, Solomon observes that all a person treasures, toils for, and accumulates of worldly things is of no more benefit to that person at the instant life ends in this world. Jesus teaches the same doctrine and even more in a parable. This parable will be the basis for our devotions for a few days. Our theme is the nightmare of a fool. Then he spoke a parable to them, saying, the land of a certain rich man brought forth plentifully, and he reasoned within himself, saying, What shall I do, for I have nowhere to store my crops? Luke 12, verses 16 through 17. As you well know, often the days of hard-working people do not end until the sun has set. In that mystical time between sunset and night, that evening of life, a hard worker will get ready for bed and prepare for that little slice of death one calls sleep. At such times, his thoughts and prayers tend to mingle as sleep slowly conquers. Well, how is it able to be said? Okay, once upon a time, in a land of Cockleburr and Canadian thistle, a rich man had finished his work for the day and had just climbed into bed. Now, he was a rich man, but not because he had gained his wealth by unlawful or shameful means. He didn't get his fortune by selling drugs, or defrauding, or by favorable court decisions, or being a pimp, or by gambling, or by thievery. No, indeed, he was an honest, hard-working farmer who woke the rooster up every morning, letting that critter know that it was dawn and time to crow. The rich man worked all day and his hard labors showed. At the end of the day, when the sun had dipped below the horizon, he would say, Well done. And it was true, for his farm bore witness to his hard work. Well, it happened, as it usually did, at one bedtime, during the autumn of life, during that mysterious time when all creation is preparing for the coming night, the man began to think as he pulled the covers up to his chin and closed his eyes. Ah, what a day. Here it is, 9 p.m. already. Hard work has its rewards, and I am truly being rewarded for my efforts. What a crop this year. I really don't think it has been any better. It just keeps coming and coming. The yield per acre is astounding. Why is that? Some would say, thanks be to God, but I know better. Hard work. Oh yes, hard work. My crops give the word harvest a new meaning. However, such success does not come without consequences. Now I have a new problem. Success leads to excess, but I will solve my problem. I just need to do some thinking about it. Let's see, what shall I do since I have no room to store my crops. Like so many today, this man had time only for earthly matters, and he gave his all in devotion to them. Although he had time, he had no time for God, no time for Jesus, no time to be forgiven, no time to feast at the table of the Lord, not a single hour each week 
to hear about what the Lord had done to provide him with the eternal treasures of heaven. The Son of God left those heavenly treasures to come into this dying world for this man as well as for all and for you. He became poor on earth so that all could become rich in paradise. Jesus died so all might live. Consider all these things as you fall asleep this night, that time when it is just between God and you. Prayer Dear Heavenly Father, who orders and governs all things both in heaven and on earth, I humbly beg you to put away from me all hurtful things and to grant to me those things that would be profitable for me through Jesus Christ, your Son, my Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, ever one God, now and forever. Amen. Hymn number 558, stanza 1. All praise to thee, my God, this night, for all the blessings of the light. Keep me, O oh, keep me, King of kings, beneath thine own almighty wings.